Alright guys, today we got for you my uh, vintage Ampeg B25B head. I do have the B25B cabinet. It's downstairs. I don't feel like carrying it upstairs because it weighs more than I do. Well, maybe it doesn't weigh more than I do, but you get the picture. It's heavy. Two channels, both identical, bright and normal inputs. This amp's very similar to the Fender Bassman 50 in that regard. The bright inputs aren't so much bright inputs as low pass inputs. So you plug guitars into bright and basses into normal. And uh, today I'm going to be running through my Seismic 210 cab, which is uh, my primer. This is actually my primary gigging rig here. 55 watts of all valve tone. Great, great sounding head. I would recommend if anyone sees one of these, buy it. I got this cheap, so go for it. And uh, one little thing I need to show you around the back real quick. Uh, what's really cool about this amp is it runs uh, 16 ohm out and there aren't many 16 ohm bass cabs so this is an 8 ohm cab and you can trick it using a, a fake plug that's not plugged into anything. And another really cool thing is this thing called the extension amp output which is this cord right here which is sort of like a very uh, like a precursor to direct out which I uh, I use when I'm playing live and they don't want to mic me up because they're lazy and they're just like that it basically is a tube direct box so uh, yep gonna show you some tones on my Fender Jag bass straight in and then the Cubase mic'd up with the 57 of course as well I'll show you you know the DI the mic and then blended which I think sounds the best so, uh, here we go. Alright, we can start. Mic only. Now, my personal favorite. Blended the two of them together. Ghosted the DI back a little bit and uh, still just recording dual mono.
brought the volume up on this. The great thing about this amp is when you're gigging, it's not a crazy loud amp, so most places where you're either mic'd or di this amp can really start to get nice and gritty before you have to deal with, you know, it being too loud, like a 300 watt SVT. So, uh, yeah, nice and loud now. 